Feeling Retro. Hey there, retro lovers, and welcome to back to the channel where we enjoy, review, and sometimes just simply admire retro goodies like this absolute beast that we've got here with us today. So this TV set that I've got next to me here is from the same year that saw the devastating nuclear explosion at Chernobyl. Top Gun beat Karate Kid 2 and Crocodile Dundee to be the highest grossing US box office hit of the year. And Phil Collins, Madonna and the Dire Straits dominated the UK charts. The year is, of course, 1986. Now, I know I've been in different rooms recently. We have actually just been moving house. So this is probably the last video I'll be doing in this house. We don't have the normal white background that we like when we do our close-ups for the channel. And the sound might be slightly different, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. But what we do have is Bang & Olufsen's BioVision MX2000 TV set. And it's a CRT TV that was manufactured between the mid to late 1980s. I would just like to give a special shout out to two of our new followers on the channel, Paltak Mo and Les Rogers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. It's always brilliant to get feedback and it's always great to get some extra information from you guys too. As me and Dan are always transparent and say, and we have been called out a couple of times, believe me on videos, we are not experts. We are simply enthusiasts and we wanted to share our enthusiasm with you guys because we know that there's a whole community of people out there who love retro gear like this. Well, at Feeling Retro, we love to try and find best in class things. Um, we might have only just found a couple of these so far on the, on the channel, but I, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think we might have found a best in class CRT TV for retro gaming. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you are gonna correct me, Make sure you do say in the comment section below which TV beats this for an overall gaming experience on a console like the 3DO that we've got hooked up to it right now. When I saw this on Facebook Marketplace, it threw me a little bit. My relationship with the brand Bang & Olufsen has been mostly audio, uh, speakers and stuff like that. So to find a TV threw me a little bit. Um, probably won't surprise you to know. Um, I don't often have the money to be buying b and equipment brand new, so I don't tend to go in the stores like John Lewis to look for a and o TV that's going to cost me thousands. So it's kind of bypassed me, but I was more of a sort of Sony guy. That was my high-end brand as a kid. Um, I was very excited to see this. And I spoke to my friend who is a big retro gamer. He loves it. And when I told him and showed him that I had this TV, he was well excited to see more of it. And on the channel, we have actually just done a video looking at Sony Trinitron. We had a little look at the brand and we looked at setting up uh, a console onto that one. And also just had a brief little look at what made those TVs so good. Uh, we did have some technical issues with that and we struggled to get that, my stupid PlayStation working on it. So I've been really excited to get it hooked up onto here. And we've actually got three videos planned. Our first video is going to be taking a look at the BO Vision and looking at some of the design features and the technical things that are going on in that TV that makes it so great. In our second video, we're going to do a side-by-side -side with the Sony Trinitron because that is a brand that gets quite a lot of hype with retro gaming. Um, this is a brand, b and that gets a lot of hype with retro gaming. So we're going to hook up the same console to both TVs and do a little side-by-side. -side. And I'm going to be really interested to know what your opinion is because I'm into my retro gaming, but I'm not a, a proper retro gamer like I'm sure some of you guys who have clicked on this video are. So I'll be really interested to know what your thoughts are when we do that side by side. And our third video is going to be taking a look at how we've managed to record this using a phone without getting that um, strobing or flickering that you usually get when you're filming on CRT TVs. So that'll be a little tutorial video and it'll be the third in a series that we're going to do with this B&O, B.O. Vision MX2000. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you're liking this video already and to go and check out our other videos with other retro goodies. Feeling retro.